Good morning, my amazing artist. Buenos dias, shuck my sea. Um, so today we are going to be combining what we learned about the color wheel yesterday along with our comic book um, lesson. So what we're gonna do today is today in art, you can go ahead and read with me the objectives that are up on top. Um, today in art, I am learning about primary and secondary colors so that I can create and color a comic book strip. I know I've got it when I have created a comic book strip of at least, it says five scenes, but I changed it to six. Um, and I have used primary colors and secondary colors separately. So you may be asking yourself, what are primary and secondary colors? So primary colors, the word primary means first. So these three colors are the colors that come first and the ones that when combined together create a new color. So the colors that are the three primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. Um, there's a picture of this underneath the video. And then the secondary colors are the colors that when you combine some of these, they are created. So they come second. So we have orange, green, and purple, AKA violet. It's actually violet, that's its real name. So this reads, you need to color your characters in different color schemes. Choose one for your hero and use the other for your villain. So. For example, let's say that my um, my villain is gonna be the primary colors. So I'm only going to color my villain in those three colors. And then the other three colors I'm gonna use for my hero or vice versa. Let's say that I want my villain to be orange, green, and violet. Then that means that my superhero would it be colored yellow, red, and blue, okay? Um, so choose which one, which color scheme you want to use for uh, your characters and don't double. So if one of them is colored in yellow, red, and blue, then your villain can't be in red, yellow, blue, okay? All right, another thing. Um, I had mentioned that your comic book strip is going to have to be, um, have at least five scenes. Well, I changed it to six. So if you look underneath, um, I show an example of what that looks like. So you're going to need to have at least six boxes. Um, I changed it from five because I wanted it to be an even number. So it's going to be six. Um, you're going to need six boxes. In those boxes, you are going to tell a story. This is going to be where you're going to show us um, the fight between your villain and, well, your coronavirus and your um, superhero or character that's going to come in and beat it. Okay. Um, another thing that I added down here are um, this right here. So these are talking bubbles. So whenever a character is talking, this is what you are going to add. If your character is not talking but thinking about something, then is when you add the thinking bubble. You want to make sure to add words in here. That's how we know what's going on. Um, and then there are the action bubbles right here. These action bubbles are like, this is boom, like an explosion. Zoom, like something's running fast. Bam, like something crashed. Zap like something got struck by lightning. Um, they don't need to be these colors. Feel free to um, make these your own. Same with this. Do as you please, but make sure you use them. Um, if there are no words to your um, comic book strip, it, it would be really hard to figure out what's going on. Um, underneath here, I also added underneath this one. Whoops, I dropped something. Underneath this one. I, this picture, I added four different examples of what comic book strips look like. Your squares do not need to be even. You can make some bigger than the others, but you need to have at least six. Um, and then there also needs to be dialogue. Dialogue means that there needs to be something going on, okay? There needs to be 
um, words and there needs to be actions, okay? Um, once you are all done with that, you are gonna, I would suggest you keep the first section open. Don't click next up until you're absolutely done with your drawing so that you can go back so that you can look at the pictures that I uploaded there um, to help you out. If you move forward, that's going to be the section for the questions and the section for you to upload your work. Um, and I don't know if it actually lets you go back. So I would suggest you stay on the first page. Don't click next until you're absolutely done with your drawing, okay? Um, if for whatever reason you don't have um, anything to color with, it's okay. Uh, what I suggest you do is um, make one character dark and the other one light. So using your pencil or your pen, whatever it is that you have, um, for one character, you're going to draw super, super dark. And for the other character, you're going to leave it very, very light so that there's a contrast. Contrast is when some, when you put two things together, there's a big difference between both of them. So they're opposites, pretty much. Um, please make sure that you put your name on your artwork, as always. And then also that you um, add a title. So what is the title of your... Um, comic book strip uh, let me give you an example for the first one that i put on here the first example example number one it's a sonic the hedgehog that is what it is called so that's a sonic um comic book strip the next one is a spider-man one that one actually doesn't have a um the title and that's because that was only just a small part from the comic book itself and then the other one has the gamer cat so that is what that comic book that's the title of that um you added a title to your comic book cover um two days ago so use that same title on the top of your comic book strip so that we know that that cover belongs to that comic book strip okay um once again, if you're having a hard time uploading your things, um, I'm going to add the video so that you can take a look at it um, just to make sure that you can follow the steps to uploading your artwork. Um, example number four, that is, um, doesn't really have much action to it, but it has a lot of um, two characters talking to each other. So um, you might want to add some of that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you today. I hope that this helps a little. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am so excited to see what you're going to make. Um, because there's not really any going wrong with anything that you make. Except that it does have to be school appropriate. I don't want no curse words. I don't want anything that is inappropriate for school. Understood? Um, also... Let your imagination go wild, okay? Um, be as creative as you want. Possibilities are endless. There's no right or wrong. Um, and if you make a little mistake, um, then just turn it into something else, okay? Like Bob Ross says, happy little accidents, okay? So, um, yeah. See you tomorrow. Much love. Miss you guys.